because you asked when i went over flux and i talked about back iron in one of the previous videos there was quite a few people that said well what is actually back iron so today let's illustrate Actually, looking back at what we were talking about in a previous video, the back iron in this was the portion of the stator where our flux lines were going, right? So we had back iron here, we had back iron here, and technically the other side of the magnets are also going to have back iron. Maybe it's a little easier if I just show you what I'm talking about here. So this here is a brushed rotor or an armature. On this, we have coils that are wrapped around these segments. And the back iron on this is technically what connects those coils to each other on the back. And since the shaft is made of steel, it does a little bit of work actually, but our laminations, which are insulated here in green, and only what's behind the coils in this little center section would technically be the back iron. That's the back iron on that. Sticking with this brushed motor, if we look inside the can, you can see that there's these nice, fancy gold-plated magnets, but the structure that they're attached to, this portion of the can, is made of steel. And that is also the back iron. So we have these two magnets that are touching the steel, and the steel completes the magnetic circuit between them. So we essentially have a north on this, a south on this face, a north on this face, and then a south on the opposing face. And that gives us a north and a south, which are connected to each other on the outside. And then on the inside, our rotor would make that connection from north to south through the middle. There we go. So there's a brushed one. We have back iron here behind the coils and we have back iron here behind the magnets. The same is gonna go for a brushless motor. So here is an example. This is an old revolver and haha, -ha, it comes right apart. We're looking at our rotor. On this outer rotor motor, we also have back iron, of course. Every motor needs some back iron. And here are our magnets and we've got north-south pairs right next to each other. And as I talked about in the previous video, when you have more pole pairs, your flux doesn't have to go as far to connect to its pair. So this ex external portion here is the back iron and it's connecting all these magnets in a north and a south through the back and another a south and a north through the back just over and over and over and over again. Now, since we have many pole pairs and our flux doesn't need to travel as far, we don't actually need as much thickness on our back iron as we do on a two pole motor. Much thicker, much thicker can here. Let's also look at the stator of our outrunner. So again, we have our coils, which are round upon this part. And then the center section that you can see in green, which is insulated with that green powder coat, that is actually our back iron that is connecting our coils together. So each of these coils is going to be wound in opposite directions. Well, it, OK, I'm not going to get into winding patterns yet, but let's just say that these two coils are wound in opposite directions. So one is going to be a north and one is going to be a south. And then they connect through each other on the back side of this with through the back iron. And that makes them a much stronger pair instead of just going off into air. Air is not a good conductor of magnetics, it turns out. So there we go. We've got back iron behind our coils and we have back iron behind our magnets you'll see that this is pretty much standard for all motor designs, at least ones that are designed properly and have good torque density. Now it's going to be a little harder to show you on this motor, but maybe because it's bigger, you can see this one is going to have the back iron from the coils located on the inside by the bearing tube, the same as the smaller one. And then on the outside behind the magnets is this entire steel can right here. Oh wow, I can, this one is so strong, I can actually feel the hysteresis losses, like pulling, that's neat. At any rate, not what we're talking about. Back iron here, behind our magnets, back iron here, behind the coils on our stator. We have a complete magnetic circuit. Last one we're gonna show you today. This is our in runner. This is the Crawlmaster V2. And as you can see, very large rotor. Now the magnets, which we can't see on this because it's fully assembled, the magnets are on the outside edge of this rotor right here. And then there's gonna be back iron on inside that not only holds the magnets in place, but it connects them to each other into pole pairs. Same thing on this, it's in the opposite fashion that the outrunner was. We have back iron on our stator and it's this, this green 
insulation that you can barely see peeking through on the edge there and that green insulated area of the stator is our back iron that connects our poles together and on this particular one the motor winding is such that they're not actually pole pairs or slot pairs i guess they could be but they are wound as an abc 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 so it's actually going to connect a little further to its pole pairs depending on how it's energized and wound and that's for another day at any rate we have our back iron for our coils located on the outside illustrated here in green and then the back iron for our stator is actually on the inside of it and that's what's holding our magnets together and connect them as pole pairs I hope these illustrations of real world materials helped you out a little bit. You know, I think it's a lot more obvious when we point to a brushed motor and I show you the parts because the back iron on this obviously is not wound. So it's a little easier to see the back iron being on the inside right there. And then the back iron being on the outside right there, pretty self evident. So great questions. I like that on a video where I was talking about back iron, y'all said, yeah, but what's the back iron? Good question. If you do have any more questions about anything in life, including where babies come from, leave your comments down below. And if it's a question about babies, I might just ignore it because I don't know either. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. The steel and the structure where magnets can find It shapes the fields, gives torque its might Spinning through the trails day or night Day or night Home's hobby Back iron, back iron It's the heart of the flow Where the power's born and the currents go Unsung parts holding the flux paths close to its heart. Wires wrapped around, they say, but with back iron strong, we're here to stay.